Hey guys, it's Dr. Kamel. I'm going to talk to you about how you can uh, prepare and administer a platelet-rich plasma injection, also known as a PRP injection. Now, you know, platelet-rich plasma or PRP injections have been making waves recently in the sports world uh, with NBA All-Star Kobe Bryant and golfer Tiger Woods. They've used PRP injections on them and have seen good results. Now, what is a PRP injection? Now, although it's not backed by strong evidence, the theory behind it is that the platelet concentration taken from a patient provides increased growth factors as well as secreted proteins that help damage tissues as well as degenerative wounds. Indications for a PRP injection include plantar fasciitis, uh, plantar fascial tears, peroneal tendon dysfunction, posterior tubule tendon dysfunction, as well as Achilles tendonitis or Achilles tears. Now, here are the steps to making a PRP injection. First, you start out by uh, drawing blood from a patient, taking eight cc's of venous blood. And once you have that whole blood in a tube, you take it and you put it into a centrifuge machine. You spin it until you've created a plasma layer or a supernatant layer. You take that and you invert the tube slightly until you get a, a pink color. Once you get that pink color, you draw uh, the plasma again or the supernatant and you inject that portion back into the patient. Now, eight cc's of venous blood will yield around four to five cc's of plasma or supernatant, which can be injected back into the patient. And since there's not uh, a lot of strong evidence surrounding this, there are no real guidelines on how much you should inject depending on what pathology. However, three to four cc's is a good amount. Now, I know you guys are really excited to see this, but before we get started, I just wanted to make sure you guys understand. There are many different systems out there that you can use to spin blood and take the plasma and, and inject it back into your patients. But the system that I'm going to be showing you today is from the Regen Lab. So here it is. So in this image, you can see some of the items you might see in your PRP kit. Keep in mind, there are various protocols depending on the PRP system that you use. Uh, that have been optimized with respect to different variables of the process, such as volume and sampling of processed whole blood, number of spins, time period of centrifugation, and range of centrifugal acceleration. You can see in this particular set that we have a safety lock blood collection set, vacutainer holder, 27 gauge gray needle, blood co collection tube, vacutainer, blood transfer device, and an 18 gauge red needle. In this video, you can see there is nothing special. It is like a normal blood draw. Using the butterfly needle and the blood collection set, draw around eight cc's of venous blood into the blood collection tube. Invert the filled tube five times for mixing. Here is the blood collected in its tube prior to being inserted into the centrifuge machine. Regen Lab recommends 8 minutes of, of time for spinning the blood and 34 as the speed indicator which is equivalent to 3000 revolutions per minute. Here is the patient's whole blood after it has been centrifuged. Notice the plasma layer, buffy coat layer, and the erythrocyte layer. After centrifugation, gently invert the tube a few times until the plasma gets a pink color as seen here in the image. Then, collect the supernatant fraction using a syringe with an 18 gauge needle. And now your PRP injection is ready to go. At this point, it is at the clinician's discretion how to administer the injection, but the techniques for any injection would apply. Thanks for watching guys. Now if you guys have any questions or any comments to make about this video, feel free to just leave a comment down in the in the comment section down below.